Hey, this is Angela from Music Strong, and today I'm going to show you my level two version of getting out of tendonitis, and tendonitis specifically of the forearm. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, you want to massage your forearm. I like to use something called the arm aid. You can use code Music Strong at checkout for 10% off uh, if you go to the website. And I like this because it allows you to massage your own forearms without uh, straining the opposite hand. And there is a uh, rubber band that goes along this too. But you can use whatever you have. You can use a friend, you can use a ball. I just like this because it's much less awkward. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the arm aid on your leg. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. And you're gonna roll back and forth looking for tender points, okay? You wanna roll the entire length of your forearm. Where those tender points are most likely to be are down here and way up here. Um, you're also going to find over by the elbow, this meaty muscle right here, your pronator teres, and down in here a little bit, okay? So from the side again, you can see, like if I find one right there, you're going to press and hold, and you want to be relaxed about this. We're going to be very gentle. This is probably going to be very tight. What happens is the muscles get very tender, they get tight, they swell, they get weak and mad. So we have to get them to calm down a little bit, right? So we're gonna be real gentle about this. You're gonna find those tender points. I want you to hold right in the middle of it and relax, okay? Now, if you have issues here, it's gonna look like this. If you have, especially if you have issues with the pinky finger, right? You're gonna roll right here. So I've got this right by my elbow. That's, the, um, you might find this if you're a guitar player, bass player, um, maybe even a violin violist on the left hand. So again, you're gonna find that spot, relax. You can stretch it at the same time. So if you are in this spot, you wanna hold and gently hold, and then you're going to gently turn that hand away. On this side, we're gonna find that spot and do the opposite. We're gonna go this way. You can even rotate down. You're gonna find the direction that feels like most like a stretch, okay? So once that's done, now we have to stretch the muscles of the forearm. So we're going to calm down the overactive muscles. We're going to stretch them. Then we have to strengthen them because overuse injuries, the muscles, well, when it tends to be a repetitive stress injury, especially these muscles, we just ask so much of them and they need strength and strength endurance. So we're gonna do that. You can't just stretch. But to stretch the muscles of uh, your forearm extensors, these are one on the top, I'm not a fan of doing this because it can put a lot of pressure on your wrist and stretch the, the delicate um, fascia up in here. Same with down here, and it can stretch your hands. And that's not what we're going for. We're really trying to get at this area right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your palms uh, face up, facing you. You're going to put them straight down underneath your shoulders. So elbow goes directly underneath your shoulders. Elbows are straight. You're going to touch your fingertips together. So if you can see what I'm doing, Touching my fingertips together, you're gonna to try to lift your knuckles off the table. This should not be possible. You're not trying to actively do it. The goal is that you try to do it, not that you actually do it. If you actually do it, you're probably out of alignment or too far this way. You want your hands directly underneath your shoulders, okay? Second part of this is if you can't get your hands to go flat, that's fine. More important that your elbows are straight than your hands are flat, okay? You're gonna hold that for 10 to 20 seconds. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Are you picking up your knuckles? Should be intense. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come out easily. Okay? I want you to take your hands together. We're going to do a prayer rotation. Back and forth, just like this, okay? A couple times. Then we're going to stretch the opposite side. Your hands are going to go wide. I want you to point them back towards you. So nice and wide back towards you, your elbows are directly underneath, I'm sorry, your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders, right? We're not back here, we're not back here. We're directly underneath. And again, if you can't get your palms to go flat, it's more important that your elbows are straight than that your hands are flat, okay? So we're gonna splay our fingers wide and you're gonna hold. And we're gonna try to pick up your fingertips. Again, should not be possible, okay? So try to pick up, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Are you trying to pick up your fingertips? You should feel a stretch right in here. 2, 
one and come out nice and easy, relax. So now we're gonna go this way. I want you to put your fingers together, rotate, rotate, rotate. You wanna follow up a static stretch with motion anytime you can, okay? So now we need to strengthen the muscles of our forearms, right? So I've got a three pound weight, anything from one to three pounds, depending on the severity of what you're dealing with is fine. We're gonna do this 20 times on each side. If it's too intense, we're gonna start with 10, work up to 12, work up to 15, work up to 20, okay? One set is fine. You wanna put your arm directly on your leg so that the wrist bends right over your knee. So as you can see with mine, it's right there, right? So you're gonna put this, uh, put this in your hand, palm up. We're gonna come up for two, hold for two, down for two. Up, two, hold, two, down, two. We're gonna do this 10 times. Hold and down. And I know it's slow, okay? That's the point. We don't need to be doing a million of these. You wanna go slow. Here's four, hold, down slow, up, hold, down slow. There you go, we got six. <laughs> it's hard to talk and uh, count at the same time. That's why I tell my clients they need to count, not me. Right, here's eight, hold, down slow. You might notice some shaking. If things are weak, that's totally fine. You never wanna push into the pain, but shaking is fine, okay? Now we're gonna turn so the thumb is thumb side up. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come up and back down. Same thing, up, hold, back down. We're gonna do this 10 times. And back down, four, down. You're not gonna have as great of a range of motion on this and that's totally fine. Here's six, you're not supposed to. Okay, three more, mm -hmm. eight, and back down, nine, Back down, and last one, 10, two, back down. Here we go. Now we're gonna go palm down. So your palm is going to face the floor. This one is probably the most difficult of all of them and why you want the lighter weight. But here we go. You're gonna come up, hold, and back down. Now, as you're doing this, are you holding your breath? Are you hunched, or are you sitting tall? Is your weight totally supported? Is your forearm totally supported on your leg? Okay, just some things to think about. So as you're doing this, I want you to also take notice of your entire body. What is your neck doing? What are your shoulders doing? Because yes, we need to be aware of this, but it's also good to increase your body awareness. This is seven. As you're doing this, right? Eight, back down. Because it's so easy when we're playing. Ooh, this is hard last one. Hold and back down. Ooh, that's good. So because it's so easy when we're playing to lose track of the rest of our body, right? So that's just a good time to be able to check in. Do I feel my toes? Do I feel, what am I doing? Am I hunching? Am I shifting my weight? What am I doing? Okay. So next we're gonna need a hammer. And I've got a little baby hammer here. The heavier the hammer, the harder the exercise is going to be, obviously, okay? So I'm gonna do it here so you can see. Uh, it's a little easier than this side. So right here, what you're gonna do is we're gonna go side to side. This is great for drummers especially. And this is, again, slow. And the goal here is not to fling it from side to side. You wanna go smooth. So notice how smooth this is traveling. One, two, three. One, two, three. Your goal, we're gonna do 10 on each side. This is four. And as we're going side to side, your goal is just to be smooth. So we don't want this kind of jerky motion, right? Here's five. And that's easier said than done, especially as you get tired. Okay, and back. And this might not be difficult for you. It depends on the nature of how you got your injury. And that's totally fine. If you don't feel anything, you don't necessarily have to do this one. But again, this is really great for drummers, anybody who tends to rotate their wrists and arms while they play. Well, I'm starting to get tired. And that's 10 and 10. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, you're gonna need a ball, you're gonna need something to squish. Now I've got a lacrosse ball, which is not the best, but you need something squishy. And this will be fine, but what you're just gonna do is you're gonna grip something. So if you have a squishy ball, that's even better. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna squish, hold, relax. Hold, two, three, relax. Hold, two, three, relax. We're gonna do this 10 to 15 times. For our sake today, we're gonna do 10, this is four. Three, relax, and you're gonna hold each one of these 
for three seconds. One, two, three. Relax. That's five, I think. One, two, three. Relax. And you're going to try to get your thumb involved as well, right? And we're not, this is six, we're not going really hard. This is not maximum effort. It's just time under tension. So don't, this is seven. You're not going as hard as you possibly can, okay? Eight, two, three. Relax. Nine, two, three. Relax. Last one. Ten, two, three. Relax. All right, and the last thing, as you can see, this doesn't take very long, which is great. The last thing is if any of these get to be easy, you're going to take a towel and just do towel twists, okay? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take it all the way down to one side, go back the opposite side. Not exactly easy. Now, as you do this, I want you to notice, are your knees locked or no? Are your knees soft? If you find yourself locking your knees, stand on one foot. Huh. It's going to make you force your core to work a little harder, okay? But this is not something you want to do until the other ones have become easy, okay? Then you're going to add it in, all right? And that's the protocol. Hit me up with any questions, and thanks for joining.